In this video, we're going to look at solving logarithmic equations using the one-to-one -one property of logarithms. The one-to-one -one property for logarithms states that the log base b of s equals the log base b of t if and only if s is equal to t. And this is true for any algebraic expressions s and t. And so if we're able to write an equation in the form log of something equals log of something else, the two expressions inside the logarithms can be set equal by this property. For an example, let's suppose we wanted to solve the log of 3x minus 2 minus the log of 2 equals the log of x plus 4. Although it's not important in this particular problem, uh, notice that these are all common logs, um, so they're all log base 10, though it is important that all the logs are the same base. Um, in order to use the one-to-one -one property at the top of the screen, we need to have a single log on the left side. Uh, right now, the left side is a difference of two logs, and so as we recall the quotient rule for logarithms, we're able to rewrite this as a single log by taking the quotient of 3x minus 2 and 2. And so our left side becomes the common log of 3x minus 2 divided by 2. And our right side is just the log of x plus 4. And now we're in the um, same format as our, um, as our property, um, our one-to-one -one property. We have the log of one expression, in particular 3x minus 2 over 2, is equal to the log of another expression, x plus 4. Um, since those um, are both common logs, we can use the one-to-one -one property to conclude that 3x minus 2 all over 2 is going to equal x plus 4. And we can solve this equation. This is just a, another linear equation. Um, and so we can multiply both sides by 2 to get 3x minus 2. Um, on the right, uh, the right side here, we have to distribute. And this becomes 2 times x plus 8. Uh, we can subtract 2x from both sides. So we get x minus 2 equals to 8. And then finally, add 2 to both sides. And we get an x equals 10. So x equals 10 is our solution to this particular equation. Uh, notice that since this is a log equation, we do need to check that this um, solution makes sense. Um, but notice that when we substitute it into our first log expression, we have 3 times 10 minus 2, which is 28. And into our last expression, we have 10 plus 4, which is 14. And both of those are positive numbers. And so we can, um, we can um, conclude that 10 is, in fact, a solution to this equation because all of the expressions in that equation are um, defined. In this example, we'd like to solve the equation 2 natural log x equals the natural log of 2x plus 3. This is almost in the correct form in order to use the one-to-one -one property. Um, the only problem is that the left side has a 2 in front of our natural log. If this were just the natural log of some expression on the left side, then we can simply use the one-to-one -one property and go to work on the resulting equation. Um, fortunately, we're able to move an ex or a coefficient in front of a logarithm into an exponent using the power rule of logarithms. So 2 natural log of x can be condensed into a single logarithm, natural log of x squared. And now we have the appropriate form. We have log of something equals log of something else. And the logs are the same uh, base. They're both, in this case, base e, the natural logarithm. And so using the one-to-one -one property, we can conclude that x squared must equal 2x plus 3. And this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this by moving all the terms to one side. So subtracting 2x and 3 over to the left side we'll get x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Uh, we could factor this equation. Um, so this factors as x minus 3x plus 1. That will be equal to 0. And we set each of these factors equal to 0, and we see that we get two potential solutions, positive 3 and negative 1. As with any log equation, we do need to check that these solutions will work. When we check x equal to 3 into the original equation, um, we get a natural log of 3 as the first term. And 
on the on the right side here we get two times three plus three which is six plus three with nine so we get the natural log of nine over here um, both of those are defined when we check negative one um, notice that um, in the on the right hand side um, everything checks out okay two times negative one plus three is negative two plus three uh, which is positive one. Um, and so this is, uh, this is okay on the right side. However, when we check on the left side, um, we see that we do get a problem. Here we have the natural log of negative one, um, which is not defined. Natural log or any log are only defined when x is greater than zero. And so negative one turns out to not be a solution here uh, because of the two log x. It is okay on the right side. The right side is defined, um, but in order to be a solution, both of the um, expressions in the original equation need to be defined there, and that is not the case here.